In this lesson, we're going to look at creating the bolts for our hubs. So the first thing I might want to do is just take a look at what size bolts I would like here. So this is going to be going into the uh, hub holes here. So again, if I just tap on that circular edge, I can see down at the bottom that my radius is two millimeters or diameter of four millimeters. And what I can also see here, if I want to see maybe the, the length of the bolt, that might make sense for me. I can actually just tap to select the back face there as well, and my front edge that I have. And again, taking a look at the information down at the bottom here, it also tells me the total distance between those two selected entities. So I can see that there is 10 millimeters in the y direction between my front edge there and the back face. So maybe I would like my bolt to be 10 millimeters long as well. So now that I have those dimensions, I can just start to sketch out my bolts here. Again, I can really do it anywhere in my 3D space. I'm going to jump to uh, maybe a right plane here. And maybe I'll just sketch it out in front of my bolt hole a little bit here. And then I'll use my transformations or translation tools to get it directly in place. But I'm going to sketch out something uh, about here, let's say. And so I'm just going to start by sketching out the head of my bolt. So I'll do something like this. And like this. Yeah, maybe something like this. And then I'm going to be using my revolve here for my bolt as well, because it, it should be a, a revolved component, most likely. So I can get my total length of my bolt here would be, again, I think I wanted about 10 millimeters there for the threaded portion of the bolt. And then I also wanted my radius to be 2. Okay. So as long as I have my radius to be 2 and my threaded portion of the bolt to be uh, about 10 there, it should fit really nicely within my hub holes there. And then of course I just want to close off this bolt sketch here. So this is the profile I'll be using for my revolve. And of course I'm going to be revolving about this line as an axis. So now I can just go into my tools and revolve. First again, select the face or the closed sketch I'd like to revolve. So that would be this profile here and tap next. And then again, select the line or the edge that I'd like to revolve about. So that's gonna be my central axis or line right here. And of course I want to revolve 360 degrees all the way around to get my uh, general bolt shape there. And if I'm happy with this, tap the done check. And finally I might just want to change the color slightly. So go into tools, color, and maybe give it that more metallic color there. And if I'm happy with that, uh, tap the done check within the color there as well. So I can revolve a little bit and take a look, but we can see there we have a, our general bolt shape. And of course, we're going to be inserting that into our hub holes here. Now that we have created our bolt body, we'd probably like to insert that bolt into my hub holes here. So let's take a look at doing this using the, the transform or maybe the translate tool. So what I'm looking to do, of course, is to move this bolt here into my hub holes here. And so I'm probably going to want to use my transform tool so I can tap into my transform. And I can of course try move rotate scale there, but I'd have to move it down a little bit, then in a little bit, and I'd have to figure out the uh, exact dimensions to move it and everything like that. But one other option I have that can be very useful in this case is the translate option. So I'm going to tap on Translate. And here I first just need to select the sketch uh, bodies or groups I'd like to, to move. 
I'm just going to double tap on my bolt there, or grab my bolt group, uh, so that's what I'd like to move in this case, and tap next. And then all I have to do is select a start point and an end point, and my bolt body should automatically translate. So let's say my start point might be, let's say, the center of the back of my bolt right there. And now that I've selected the start point, I also need to select the end point. So let's say I want the back face of my bolt to probably be going right into the center of my back face of this face here. I can double check to make sure that this is the uh, exact direction and distance I'd like. Okay. Um, notice you can also tap and move any of these points as well. Um, but in this case, I would like to be dead on the center there. Yeah. But so you can get very specific um, where you'd like to jump directly to. And notice it snaps directly into the center of my circular face there. And then once I'm happy with my selection points there, I can just tap the done check once more. And notice that bolt has jumped straight into my hub hole, and it's gone all the way in that, that 10 millimeter distance. So now that I have the placement of one of my bolts, I don't want to do a, a similar thing for the remaining bolts. So again, I can use my transform tools here, maybe with the copy option. Okay. So I'm going to go to transform, move, rotate, scale. And I'm going to grab my bolt. Okay. And maybe I'll jump to a, a front view here. And I'd like my pivot point again to be uh, dead in my origin, so right about there. Then I'm going to revolve 90 degrees to create my additional bolts. So I would like to make sure that copy is turned on, so I'll tap copy there. And now I can just make a, a few copies of this bolt at 90 degrees. Maybe 180. And the last one at 270. So now I should have f my four bolts there in each of the hub holes. I can tap the done check. And I'll just take a look here. But I should see now I've just created these uh, four bolts in each of my hub holes.